To create an app prepaid campaign, find the app media type in the create campaigns menu, then scroll down until you find the prepaid campaign concept. The prepaid card allows you to create a campaign where customers must pay an amount upfront and then they will get one or multiple products for free afterwards. The prepaid campaign wizard has four steps. In step one, you create the main settings for how the prepaid card should appear in the app. These parameters are covered in detail in the app coupon wizard, which is shown in a different video. Note that the coupon image is the image users will see before they start using the prepaid card for the first time. In this example, I will be setting up a prepaid card for five free coffees. Customers should be allowed to buy five coffee for 10 euros. In step two, campaign rules, I control the main settings for the prepaid card mechanics. The first setting, last round goes on forever, allows me to control whether users should be allowed to use the card once or an infinite number of times. Next, I can control whether the card should use PLU, Tender, or a combination. If your POS has conditions, these are covered in a separate video. In the table below, you can set various parameters for each validation. I want my prepaid card to give five coffees for free. I then need to add five steps to my validation table. The first validation is for activating the card then you should get five free coffees. In step one, I set the amount payable that users should pay before starting using the card. Also, I can set the activation PLU and I can set merchant compensation, which is the amount given to store managers. The adjust expiry date allows me to adjust the validity of the coupon after this first stamp. I want the prepaid card to be valid for 12 months after activating the card. And I want users to see this expiry date. When customers have activated the card, they should now see that they have five free coffees left. In step two, there is no amount payable since the card was activated in step one. I add PLU, I can add merchant compensation and handling fee for each free coffee which merchants give out. I do not change the expiry date because I want users to have 12 months to complete the whole card. I want users to see the expiry date even after using the second validation. And then after the second validation, customers have four coffees left on their card. In the same way, I now set up the consecutive validations. Note that on the last validation, you have to use the blank image so the customers know that they now have to start a new round. In step three, time settings, you set the start and end date for the whole campaign. In step four, you review the information and press finish. The campaign will now appear on the front page under planned campaigns.